the misconception of AIDS is similar to the misconception of naming your child as Lawrence Wong. It's all totally wrong. Here's what you really need to know about AIDS so you can finally eat in peace. So, so, also, your parents uh, might have told you that you cannot have more than two eggs a day. Or some hardcore one uh, say you cannot have two eggs a week. Their reasoning uh, is that in the past, uh, doctors would suggest that we cannot have over 300 mg of cholesterol. And one egg uh, has almost 373 mg of cholesterol. Uh. Since bad cholesterol, Indeed, leads to heart disease. Uh, we all avoid eggs like crazy. Uh. But here's the thing, uh, here's the thing. However, uh, throughout history, uh, we have been eating lots of eggs and we are still okay. Le. Why? Le? Because you see, uh, in the past, uh, the size wasn't that clear. La. It's like you eat cholesterol, then cholesterol should be in your body, right? Kind of like if you name your newborn Lawrence one, uh, then he will become our future PM. It doesn't work that way. La. Yo. He might become an actor instead, so must make sure you name the full name Lawrence Wong Sai, NIRC number S72. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same misconception about fats. Uh, but last time, uh, people think if you eat fats, uh, you'll gain fats. But that one partially true. Uh. Watch out, uh, and then I'll explain later. But for cholesterol, uh, it's completely untrue. Uh. You see, uh, modern science uh, has since debunked that dietary cholesterol, which is cholesterol that we consume, uh, leads to high LDL cholesterol. We must be specific, because uh, huh? cholesterol uh, got two types, uh, LDL and HDL. LDL uh, is a bad one, uh, but HDL uh, is the good one, because HDL uh, is high DL. Uh. Yeah, so modern science uh, shows that our body uh, will auto-adjust accordingly. Uh. Basically, uh, just think of the cholesterol level like our body temperature. Uh. You always auto-adjust. Because uh, many things in our body uh, are auto uh, based on our genes. Uh. Now, uh, this means that we can eat 30 eggs and won't have high LDL cholesterol. Uh. You don't quote me, uh, but there's no evidence uh, that you affect. Uh. But here's the thing, uh, here's the thing. Eggs uh, or dietary cholesterol uh, won't affect your cholesterol level, but something else will. Because eh. for example, uh, our body temperature uh, will sometimes go up and down if we don't take care of our bodies like getting sick. Uh, huh? Similarly, uh, our cholesterol level uh, might be higher if we don't take care of ourselves. Which is why, uh, if you check out reliable sites, uh, you see that the best way to reduce LDL cholesterol uh, is a healthy lifestyle. Uh. Exercise, uh, keep fit, uh, don't smoke, uh, don't drink so much, uh, don't grow over 40 years old. Uh, eh? Before anything, I know that some people are hyper responders, but their genes are made them indeed absorb the cholesterol. But so far, studies have shown that it also increases the HDL, balancing everything. So to simplify everything, let's just not look at that. Now, why we always hear doctors telling us not to eat fried foods to reduce cholesterol levels? Simple. Bad fats, which are saturated fats and trans fats, have been shown to increase LDL cholesterol level. Not only that, they are bad as they will make you gain weight, which is like what I said earlier. Fats will make you fat. Before you go, Okay, I'm going to avoid fats altogether. Hey, don't get bored, ah, yo. Fats are uh, got a few versions, one, and the good ones uh, are very good one, you know. The good ones uh, are called unsaturated fats, and here's the thing, uh, they're also in eggs, yeah. but they're also in other foods uh, like avocados uh, or salmon. Uh. So uh, the key is education. Avoid those fats in burgers and eat those fats in salmon. Now of course, once again, given my belly, uh, I got no rights uh, to talk about this. Uh, but after realizing that I'm a cat as well, uh, I think I can just say anything and get away with it one uh. <laughs> So if you still doubt me, uh, just Google for the facts. Uh. If you somehow want to know why the final bad boss uh, in our fight against obesity uh, is not fast but refined sugars, uh, just comment. Uh, I want the blue cat to marry a pretty DBS teller and then I'll do it for you. Uh. So maybe one day uh, a DBS teller will really DM me uh, and then I'll finally get married. Uh. In the meantime, if you think you have become smarter and maybe slightly healthier, consider subscribing. And also watch this video to know why you need a lot of fiber to lose weight.